I have held snakes in the past. I'm not a massive fan of snakes, but I have I have interacted with the odd mm. snake here and there. Okay, <laughs> okay. Well, no, honestly. Okay. I, no, okay. I'd love to, but I just. Would you like can't. just to touch I, No, one. no, no. It's not open to negotiation. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much indeed. To be honest. Oh, oh that's a sound effect. <laughs> the snake doesn't look massively keen either. The snake either, didn't look particularly honest. keen either, Andy. To be honest. <laughs> oh, they're a very good oh judge of character, goodness. in my experience. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, so look. So look, we're talking snakes now, yeah. aren't we? What would you do if you found a runaway snake? People in the West Midlands are on high alert this week, hunting for this potentially deadly three metre long python, which the police finally managed to catch after it escaped from its home. So thankfully, despite Adley's fears and all of our trepidations, we have professional handler Trevor doing a great job of keeping the snakes here this morning from escaping. But with the number of pet snakes having increased by 200,000 in the last year alone, nearly Nearly three quarters of a yeah. million pet snakes in the country. So experts are predicting even more runaway reptiles could end up roaming our streets. So is it time to ban exotic pet ownership? Well, joining us to debate this, Snakey Sue, who runs a snake sanctuary and thinks it would be madness. And we also have Peter's Chelsea Monroe, who believes snakes should be left to live in the wild. Uh, Sue, when did you get into snakes and, and, and f fall in love with them as a pet? Well... I, my, I held my first snake when I was about 12 or 13 right. from a zoo. And um, I've never been afraid of animals. People, animals, not. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I've started keeping snakes in 1992 and began rescuing them uh, in 1996 because I realised... I've joined a club, pet reptile club, and I realised that sometimes people can't keep their pets... It could be any pet type of pet, dog, mm -hmm. cat. Mm -hmm. I just rescued a dog. <laughs> so it could be any type of pet that needs a rehoming. And that happened, I decided to specialise in snakes. Um, so what is it so you you're love an about... expert. Yeah, but what see. is it you love about snakes and why do they make great pets? Yeah, that's they're, a crucial one. We extremely... can see how fascinated you might be as an expert about snakes in the world. But what makes them a good pet? They, you have to interact with them. They're in a box. They're in prison, really, in your house. So you have to interact with them. You have to, every now and then, you have to take them out, give them a cuddle. They Do get they to like know you. That? I understood that they don't even particularly like being held because we're warm blooded and they're cold. -blooded. Not too long. Okay. Um, we're, yeah, we're thirty-seven degrees and they don't need to be that hot. Yeah. But um, our warmth, they do get to know us. They they use their tongue to taste and they pick up on our energy. Right. So somebody who's maybe nervous, they won't want to stay with that person. They'll go to the... They come back to me. Yeah. Because I'm not nervous, I'm comfortable to be with. So there's only two ways for a snake to be. It's either anxious or comfortable. Right. So if it's not anxious, then it, it's comfortable. And being quite a calm be with pet you. And, and they're quite nice to have around, and that's why you, you like them. Um, Chelsea, I, it's... Clearly, there is... Trevor is very passionate about it. Mm. Sue is very passionate about it. As Kate was saying, there's 750,000 pet snakes in the UK. What's Peter's thoughts on having exotic, po exo exotic pets at home? Snakes do not make good pets. Um, they belong in rainforests or deserts, uh, woodland spaces, wide open spaces, not in cramped tanks in someone's home. Um, and they have really special needs. They require regulated temperatures, special diets, um, lots of space. And I think the, once the novelty of having um, an exotic pet wears off and people realise the responsibility that comes mm. with them and the expenses that come with them too, um, because you have to keep the tank running 24 hours a day, often when that novelty wears off, they're abandoned and neglected. Um, and the RSPCA in 2021 reported um, 685 snakes abandoned. God. So they really don't deserve to be left on a roadside um, and neglected. So we do urge people not to buy snakes from breeders and, and pet shops. what are the challenges of keeping a snake? You mentioned the running of, of the tank, that's one thing. But there are also challenges with feeding and all of that, aren't there? Definitely, they require specialist diets, obviously a lot of snake, uh, a lot of space, and um, your, a tank in your home, or even just your home, doesn't compare to a rainforest. But also snakes, they are quite cautious animals. They don't like to be petted or handled or passed around. And 
sort of dissimilar to other animals. They don't, you know, yelp or whine if they're mm. uncomfortable or hurt or distressed. So it is quite hard to understand when they are feeling uncomfortable. Can you tell, Sue, if there's something wrong with a snake? Yeah, of course I can. <laughs> 27 years of caring for hundreds of them. OK, but the, so you've got that, as Kate was saying earlier, you've got that expertise. Mm. What about a new pet owner that perhaps... Walks into a shop, saying, yeah, buys one. Doesn't know, can't read Well, that. that's can be part of the problem, but that's not the problem with the animals, that's a problem with humans, isn't it? Humans decide to, you know... In fact, it's not so easy to buy a snake nowadays because mm. pet shops are restricted. Um, ordinary pet shops are restricted now from selling reptiles. Well, it's not you very easy, a, but, but it's gone up to 200,000. I mean, we're up to 750,000 well, snakes in the country. That's, what, that's people, humans. Would you, welcome, would you welcome... Someone here suggested, why not, um, why not offer some sort of... Donna says... Uh, license them. People will look after their pets better and they'll go to the right sort of homes. I don't know if that would work. We've talked about that in the past, mm. all, all the people that are uh, rescued. Um, we've talked about the licensing thing, just like dog licences were and they're not anymore. You know, I mean, it's, it's much more expensive to keep a dog because I know I kept dogs <laughs> and snakes. <laughs> so it's much more expensive to keep a dog than a snake. But... Why wouldn't you ban it? Why wouldn't you ban it? Because, it, you know, there just are places go to go... There are places to go to see snakes if you love them. What's your... They'll just go underground. There'll be people who keep mm. them in their lofts, in the basements, and, you know, they probably, possibly won't be cared for properly then. That's worse, isn't it? Well, we do. We are not calling for snakes to be taken away from their guardians. We're just calling on a ban on breeding and selling them in pet shops. Um, and if it's proper licensing is in place, then it's quite unlikely that people will take snakes into their homes. So you would welcome licensing of some sort of exotic, exotic bets? Yes, definitely, on selling and breeding. Yeah, James says exotic animals should be in the wild, not as pets. Joel says, of course, what's the reason for owning such beautiful creatures? They should be in the wild. Uh, Darren says it's an industry. A small amount of rogue trade, endangered species, endangered channels always hide behind the legal elements of this trade. And then lots of you saying there are more dog fatalities and deaths than exotic pets in the UK. Don't need to worry about... And, Pointing to the owners. It's the owners. If the owners looked after the pets, then they wouldn't mm. want to escape. Uh, thank you for your comments. Thank you, Chelsea. Thank, thank you, Sue. You. And thank you, Trevor. Thank you and all of the and snakes. And all the snakes. <laughs> yeah, thank you. They're all here and safe. OK. <laughs> all right. She's going to take them home with him.